Landscape photography and hiking has taken me to some beautiful places and without a doubt, if I hadn't taken up the love of these two passions in my life, it would be less fulfilled. This is Wasdale, in particular Wastwater, England's deepest lake. Some would argue this lake has some of the best views in the land. The hike today was an epic and the conditions were near perfect. I always get that sense of well-being, that warm feeling whenever I come to Wastwater. For me, it's one of the most beautiful lakes. It's, it's not spoiled in a way. There's no concrete car parks at the side of the lake. It's still got that remoteness to it, albeit since COVID, it has got a lot busy, especially in the summer. But what a start to the morning. That is a chill in the air, a chill in the air, definitely. Zero degrees on the way here, um, cloudless, absolutely cloudless. Beautiful light over there. And look at that. First, dust in the snow, Scarfell. Today, we've got an epic hike in store. I'm heading round uh, Ubarra at the moment. I'm going to head up towards Black Sail Pass and then turn left to Pillar along there, down Wind Gap, uh, Steeple, Great Scope Fell. Then head back down Red Pike and Ubarra itself. Quite a challenging hike today, so we'll see how we get on. Oh wow. Oh wow. Now Wastwater is arguably one of the best views in England. As I say, due to the remoteness of Wastwater itself and not very often, or not so much for me, you actually see the top of uh, the peaks, which is Great Gable, which is just coming into view now. Photography-wise, we'll have to see what happens. As I said, there's no cloud in the sky, and the forecast is like this all day, so it's just a question of capturing that light. So just taking a little break from my walk still on the main road at the side of uh, Wasport which takes you up to Wasdale Head. Kirkfell just coming to view, nice bit of light on there, bit of light, massive light on there and great gable. Photo opportunities, we'll, we'll see what happens today because I think they may be limited. Uh, no moon, no detail in the sky. So I'm just having a scan Always good subjects of trees, especially this time of year. The uh, autumnal colours, but there's no light. No light on them. The better light, I believe, I think I'm right by saying this, uh, the better light this time of year is towards sunset. So hopefully by the end of the walk, we may have some light on that area. I'll have to see. And that is my first main shot. I say main, I've taken a few snaps, but that's standing out for me. And the reason is, this is all about the shadows. See the bottom, um, I'll say third, yeah. Bottom third is just draped in your shadow. Then you get your light on the pillar, to the left hand side, first sight of the pillar, and Kirk fell on the right hand side. And that little copse, of coniferous, let's say coniferous trees is just holding up the image. It's going to be a 16 by 9 crop, probably. Probably. Now, they do say, the experts, that you should have equal balance across the whole of your image. Don't have one half of the image, for example, at a higher level than the bottom. 
But I don't agree with that, because I think this really works. I think it's just a natural diagonal sloping up. Please do that. Crack on. There we are, Moresdale. What a ball this is. Left to right, Ubarra, Red Pike, Scott Fell, Puller, up there is Kirk Fell. Still getting my snaps in. Some behind me there. Still playing its uh, part. For the photography but they are snaps all I'm doing is looking at objects and looking at how the shadow plays within the frame as well as so you've got objects and the light and the shadows getting the right angles really looking sure getting my diagonals in where it needs to be I mean look at this diagonal here Don't really work though to be in this spot yeah. Look at this. Oh. Very nice, right. Head down there then. To right is Pillar and Black Sail Pass. That's where I start my climb. Reaching the top of Black Sail Pass. Oh, and it's a gradual incline to the top of Pella. Sun is beaming down, beaming down. Better cloud, better cloud. Them shadows, massive shadows. Red Pike, New Barrow. I haven't taken a photo in a while, to be honest. Um, let's see what, see what we can find from the top of Pillar. But to be honest, it gets to a stage in these photography hiking sessions where I just want to get my head down and hike, as it were. You know, it's not good stopping and starting. Um, you need the muscles to continue to work and get the balance right as well. So. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, go. Beautiful day. Beautiful. Well, made it. So, a black sail pass between Kirkfield Crags and Looking Stead. Basically, that's Pillar. Looks quite gruesome, really, doesn't it? Scramble going on there. Well, of course, I've done it, done it before. It's doable. And look at this little tan. So I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and I'm gonna see if I can find a shot. I'm gonna share what I've seen here. Rock in the middle of the tan. And you've got the rocks as well. Quite a nice clear picture. forget how deceitful Pillar is. There's a number of false summits. You think you're there but then it continues over the brow and on and on. Wow, I should have known about there. Looks like the watch at around what 700 meters elevation and Pillar's 892 but then I thought watch must be wrong. I'm nearly there. Saw the brow. Just stopped here. Just took a breath, took a moment. Cloud is built up. That's where the sun is. That's where I'm going. Round Red Pike, drop down. We'll see how I feel there. 
whether I get to the top of U-Bud or not, but shifting around, got snow on the top of the scaffold, scaffold pike. Great end, mushroom there in the middle, great gable from Kirkfell. You see the light, you see the light there, you can just make it out. It's sliver, a little diagonal of light, so I shot it. And also there's a little sliver of light leading down to um, Little Scott Fell. Just for Black Crag. Black Crag, named after a famous YouTube called Glen, apparently. Great channel. Anyway, yeah, pull her head down and up slightly. Steeple, steeple's quite interesting. Quite exposed. And great, oh, great score. And red bike, I'm knackered. Right, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm still far away. Still little slivers of light, you know. Look at that little thing there. Things like that. Just position them right in the frame. And that's all you need sometimes. And it works with a series of photographs, I feel. These days I don't really home in on one single image. Because they do say, photography's about telling a story. I just find it hard to tell a story with one single image. It's a series, it's a series of the session. It is in these hiking, hiking trips anyway. Okay. Bloody hell. There we go, that's my next fill. There, steeple. A little bit of light on it. The sun keeps dipping behind those clouds. Yeah, quite exposed as well. Dip down into a little cold and up to the summit. Got the light there. This has not been an easy walk at all. In fact, it is quite technical. I'd say, got a longish and technical walk. You, you got to be careful. You step in lots of boulders. You've got to think. Um, the snow isn't open. The ice isn't open as well. Lots of ascent in this walk as well. But I tell you what, it is so interesting. So full of wonderful views. This is proper. Lakeland mountainous stuff as this. Um, yeah, you just got to be careful. I'm glad in a way that I've chosen this walk on a clear day. I need no rain. Let's pick my pole up. Oh. Um, just to take advantage of all the views here. Um, photography. Well, let's see. I'm just going to. See what light there is, see what light casts and what. I mean, that's, you know, it's lovely as that, isn't it? Look at that. Bit of a good framing, perhaps a square frame, makes all the difference. Right, let's do steeple, then back up. Uh, great scope fell, then head back towards the car. Uh, red Pike. Woof! That is my final fell of the day. That is Red Pike. And there's a lovely 
pale orange glow as we enter the final hour of the day. Nice chill, nice calm still. What a day. No, you better. I've got to be sensible. I am very, very low on energy. Aching as well. It is a bit of a, a testy night. <laughs> Come on, we have some decent shots though. Got some decent light and that's what it's all about. Oh, what a moment. Beautiful stuff. Right. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Keep smiling. Bye bye for now. Thank you.